What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Friday, July 8th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a 14 game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. The stud that I like on the slate is Zach Wheeler and he's pitching against a low salary batting team, the St. Louis Cardinals. Zach Wheeler, only giving up a .607 OPS versus righties. He's facing four righties here tonight. And on top of that, the Cardinals have only hit 10 of his last 55 pitches. That's a 182 batting average. So Zach Wheeler is 10,200 FanDuel salary, 200 less on DraftKings, averaging 38 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 46, 38, and 31 fantasy points in his last three games. He has an ERA of 2.66, record is 7-4, pitching an average of 91 pitches per game. Vegas thinks this is going to be a low-scoring game, 7.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like Zach Wheeler here versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, for my lower, uh, my lower salary, lowery, my lower salary pitcher, I like Lucas Giolito, but I also like Jose Urquidy. And he's pitching against a low salary batting team, the Oakland Athletics. Jose Urquidy giving up a .795 OPS versus righties. Only giving up a .610 OPS versus lefties and a .662 OPS versus switch hitters. So he's facing three lefties, five righties, and one switch hitter. But what I like about this pick is the Athletics have only hit six of his last 32 pitches. That's a 188 batting average. Jose Urquidy is 8,100 FanDuel salary. 100 more on DraftKings, averaging 26 fantasy points per game on the season, but he's been on fire, scoring 49, 31, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games. He has an ERA of 4.15, record is 7-3, pitching an average of 88 pitches per game. So I like Jose Urquidy here versus the Oakland Athletics. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. One of my favorite plays on the slate. I like Jose Abreu or Abreu and he's got a 19% batting advantage over Tarek Skubal. Jose Abreu is batting 14% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .941 OPS versus lefties. Tarek Skubal He's, uh, he's giving up a .731 OPS versus righties. But I like this pick because Jose Abreu is 6 for 13. That's a 462 batting average and a 1.077 OPS versus Scooball. He's 3,400 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. And he scored three, 13, and three fantasy points in the last three games. But he scored 28 and 13 fantasy points the game before that. So he scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 290. So I like Jose Abreu here versus Tarek Skubal. Before I continue with the picks, 
I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Luis Arreyes with a 31% batting advantage over John Gray. Luis Arreyes batting 27% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .840 OPS versus righties. John Gray pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, giving up a .702 OPS versus lefties. There's no at-bats versus Gray yet. Luis Arreyes, only 2,900 FanDuel salary. Now, he's 2,100 more on DraftKings, so I love that FanDuel price. Averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 354. So, I like Luis Arreyes here versus John Gray. I also like Cattell Marte, and he's batting against a low salary pitcher, Chad Cool. Cattell Marte batting a .776 OPS versus righties. Chad Cool giving up a .790 OPS versus switch hitters. Cattell Marte is 3 for 4 with a 2.5 OPS versus Cool. One of those uh, four, one of those three hits is for a home run. Another one is a double. He's 3,100 FanDuel salary, 1,200 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He has a batting average of 265. So I like Cattell Marte here versus Chad Cool. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Matt Carpenter with a 54% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Connor Seabold. Matt Carpenter batting 11% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .838 OPS versus righties. Connor Seabold pitching 43% uh, worse to lefties as he does righties giving up a 1.404 OPS versus lefties. There's no at-bats versus Seabold yet. Matt Carpenter, only 3,000 FanDuel salary and only 700 more on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 273. So I like Matt Carpenter here versus Connor Seabold. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. So I like Bo Bichette. He's got a 36% batting advantage over George Kirby. Bo Bichette batting a .742 OPS versus righties. George Kirby pitching his worst ball by far to righty batters. 48% worse than his other pitches giving up a .930 OPS versus righties. So there's no at-bats versus Kirby yet. Bo Bichette is 3,500 FanDuel salary, 2,200 more on DraftKings, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of, three, uh, of 257. So I like Bo Bichette here versus George Kirby. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. 
Now, I also like Tim Anderson. This is another one of my favorite picks on the slate. He's got a 28% batting advantage over Tarek Skubal. Tim Anderson batting 24% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .962 OPS versus lefties. Tarek Skubal, he is giving up a .731 OPS versus righties. And I like this pick because Tim Anderson is 7 for 13. It's a 538 batting average and a 1.725 OPS versus Scooball. He has one home run, five doubles, and one single. It's a pretty decent sample size. So Tim Anderson is 3,400 FanDuel salary, 2,000 more on DraftKings, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He has a batting average of 313. So I like Tim Anderson here versus Tarek Skubal. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. I got a home run hitter for you here. I like Jordan Alvarez with a 29% batting advantage over Paul Blackburn. Jordan Alvarez batting 13% better versus righty pitchers, batting a 1.031 OPS versus righty pitchers. Paul Blackburn pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, 16% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .857 OPS versus lefties. I like this pick because Jordan Alvarez is 3 for 10 versus Blackburn. It's a 1.5 uh, OPS, and that's because all three of those hits are for home runs. He's 4,500 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's been on fire, scoring 22, 9, 28, 28, and 6 fantasy points in the last 5 games. So he scored fantasy points in all 5 of his last games. He has a batting average of 312. So I like Jordan Alvarez here versus Paul Blackburn. I also like Mookie Betts as a home run hitter. We had him as our, one of our top picks in our thumbnail yesterday. Scored 40 fantasy points. I also like Michael Harris. He's got a 35% batting advantage over Eric Fetty. Michael Harris batting 22% better versus righty pitchers. Uh, batting a .886 OPS versus righties. Eric Fetty pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters. 13% worse than his other pitches giving up a .833 OPS versus lefties. Michael Harris is one for two versus Fetty. He's 3,600 FanDuel salary, 300 less on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He has a batting average of 290. So I like Michael Harris here versus Eric Fetty. Now, here's a, he's somewhat of a value play, a lower salary player with a lot of upside here tonight. I like Andrew Benatendi with a 16% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Aaron Saval. Andrew Benatendi batting 9% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .799 OPS versus righties, Aaron Saval pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, 7% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .869 OPS versus lefties. Andrew Benatendi is 2 for 4 uh, with a 1.964 OPS versus Saval. One of those two hits is for a home run. He's only 3,000 FanDuel salary, 1,000 more on DraftKings, averaging 9 fantasy points per game on the season. He's been on fire, scoring fantasy points in all five of his last games, and he has a batting average of 319. So I like Andrew Benatendi here versus Aaron Saval. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups 
using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.